Hey everyone, Blaine Cruz, your real estate expert advisor with another video. So you might wonder how much money will go into your pocket after your home is sold. After all, it's not what you make, it's what you keep that matters when it comes to the sale of your home. The sales price you see at the top of the closing paperwork is rarely, if ever, the amount of money that ends up in your pocket as the seller. There are a variety of expenses and fees associated with getting a home sold, so it's important that you understand exactly what you're going to walk away with before you put a sign in your front yard announcing to the world it is for sale. The smart thing to do is to consult with a great local agent and have them go over what we call a seller's net sheet. A seller's net sheet is a financial worksheet that takes the sales price of a home and then subtracts what the costs and fees are to get the home sold, giving you the net proceeds from the sale of the home. The math is simple and when done correctly, it will give you a clear picture of what you'll walk away with when you sell your home. So what are some of the items you'll find on a net sheet? First. It will list the home sales price. This one speaks for itself. It's not the price at which your home is first listed. It's the price at which the home actually sells for when all is said and done. Then it will list your home loan balances. This amount usually represents the original mortgage you took out on your home when you first bought your house. Ideally, it is the main lien holder on your house. However, if you took out a second mortgage or home equity loan, this would qualify as a second loan balance and would also be included. Now, if there were any other loans, such as taking out a third loan on your home or you pledged it as collateral, that would be accounted for on here as well. It will also take into account your property taxes. Now, this can be a bit misleading. The reason is that your property tax allocation is going to be prorated based upon when you actually close your home. You'll get credit for whatever you've already paid or charged for the time you've lived in the home that you haven't paid for yet. The company that closes the loan will do the research and reflect whatever that amount is and that needs to go on the sheet. You will also have a spot for your homeowners association dues if applicable. Like taxes, this will be prorated based on your actual closed date. If you have a mortgage prepayment penalty, we would account for that on here as well. So if you have a loan that requires you to stay in your home for a period of time before you sold it and subsequently charges a payment if you do, then you would enter that amount on the sheet as well. Then we would also deduct the sales commission for the real estate agent. Then there is the other category where we may deduct any expenses for repairs you need to do to make the home get sold, any seller contributions you're paying for the buyer or any closing costs you may have. With the seller's net sheet, the seller should be able to get a good estimate what those numbers look like before they sign on the dotted line to transfer the home to the buyer. If you're looking to sell, be sure you consult with a good qualified real estate agent who can first price your home properly and then secondly, identify all the fees and costs associated with getting your home sold so you'll know what you'll walk away with at closing. If you would like to get uh, the value for what your home could sell for in today's market and then a net proceeds calculation of the amount of money you'll pocket after your home is sold, please feel free to reach out to me. You can find all my contact information on my digital business card at www.blainecruise.pro. Thanks again for watching and remember with Blaine Cruise, extraordinary comes standard.